I'm Sean Brenneman, the Agronomic Sales Manager with Syngenta for Eastern Canada, and I'd like to give you a bit of a crop update. I've had the ability to look from Windsor to Quebec City, and for the most part, corn overall looks very good. Even though with those early season establishment issues with all the rain we've had, the, the, the heat in the last little bit has actually brought this corn crop on, and we'll see a lot of tassels starting to come in the next uh, few weeks. So with that, make sure if you're gonna put a fungicide on, Take a look out there, see what kind of diseases are coming in your crop. Uh, make sure you have the timing right. But overall, uh, the crop looks pretty good in most areas. We are concerned a little bit with all the moisture we have had with shallow roots, but we fully expect that there is pretty good moisture holding capacity in a lot of soils. And a little bit of rain now at this time of year is really gonna carry that, th that crop through silking and tasseling and make sure we're setting up for the tremendous crop we think we've got out there. On to soybeans. Soybeans had a lot of the same establishment issues. In fact, parts of Lambton uh, and Essex County had some very tough issues with those heavy rains and crusting and replants in those areas. But again, soybeans for the most part have come on very well with the heat and a lot of the environmental conditions we've seen over the last month. So we fully expect the soybeans right now are actually going to be producing a, a good crop. There are some variable areas where the rains have kind of come and held, but nodulation looks very good. and. Right now we're at that R1 or full flower in, in a lot of fields, in a lot of cases. And in fact, on this, we're seeing a few pin beans start to come. So bean establishments uh, starting to happen. One of the things about soybeans you wanna make sure is what's feeding that pin bean is that trifoliate that's right across from it. So when you actually think about a soybean crop, what you wanna do is protect that trifoliate across from, from where those beans and those pods are. By doing that, you're gonna have maximum pod fill and hopefully maximum yield. We are getting some reports about soybean aphids in some areas, so make sure to get out and scout your fields, see what the populations are at. If you're getting up to that 250 aphids per plant and above, contact your crop specialist or CCA, certified crop advisor, and uh, make sure you're getting the best recommendations to protect that crop.